Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. The pastor called me a few weeks ago and he said that, you know, I need you to do the third Sunday. And I was like, okay, fine. And I'll step back up here. And I had to think about, you know, what was third Sunday and it was joy. And, you know, for the most part, I'm an even killed person. You know, I'm, I'm, my emotions don't get too high or too low. <laughs> so speaking about joy, I was like, man. <laughs> Oh, and I get the emotion one. <laughs> but I had to reach out to my partner, Valencia, and she gave me a couple of Bible verses. And one of them was Isaiah chapter 35, verse 10. And at the tail end of it, it says, let's flip to it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And it says, they shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow, and sighing shall flee away. Mm. And um, when I thought about that, you know, you got that sorrow and sighing when, you know, you have a monotonous work life. Like, let's say if you're an employee that every other day you're sitting there going to work, you know, dragging your feet, getting out of bed, and then you're just not involved in the world around you. So you come to work, you know, you feel reluctant to clock in, but, you know, you have to anyway. <laughs> And somebody asks you, hey, how you doing? You'd be like, oh. <laughs> So then, you know, somebody else may ask you, hey, hi, hey, how you doing? You'd be like, man, it's Friday. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's Friday. You know, it's payday. Now all of a sudden, you know, that, that change, you have joy in your life now. <laughs> and so one of the definitions of joy, at least according to the internet, we have the emotion evoked by well-being, success, or good fortune or by the prospect of possessing what one desires. And so that was your payday, you, what you desire to be paid. You know, money isn't everything, but it's just an example I'm going to go with today. And so after you know, somebody tells you it's payday, the first thing you do is go check your bank account, just to make sure you know, that I actually get paid today. Mm -hmm. You get to verify that deposit. Now, when somebody asks you, hey, how you doing? you be like, hey, it's Friday, it's payday. You know? <laughs> And are you thinking about what you might go buy after work? Or are you thinking about paying off something you already bought? And so, Pastor Jerome also told me to tie this into Christmas somehow. I'm like, man, joy? How long was that joy in the Christmas? So, like, all right, fine, whatever. And so imagine you're a shepherd, you know, just out in the fields, you and your other bunch of shepherds, you know, just chilling, shepherding. And, um, <laughs> I'm like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, good, you know, it was just, it is what it is, you know. Yeah, so uh, how's your flock coming along? Well, you know, we got like 22 of them now. I'm like, they all know the sound of my voice. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's nice. What you been feeding them? Grass. And then, all of a sudden, you know, an angel just appears out of nowhere. That's <laughs> not exactly what happened, but if we turn right, right, right. to Luke, chapter 2, Starting at verse 10, the angel then said, Do not be afraid, for I bring good news that will cause great joy for everyone. Over yonder, in the city of David, a Savior is born yes. to you. Yes. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign of to you. This will be a sign to you. Pay attention. You will find him wrapped in clothes, laying in a manger. So now the shepherds, of course, they were all scared. You know, how many times have you seen an angel appear when you was growing right. up? So then now all of a sudden, more angels show up. And they say, glory be to God in the highest heaven. And on earth, there will be peace to all people whom his favor rests. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So now, you know, after the angel will depart, the shepherd's like, all right, well, I got to go change my underwear, but we're going to take a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> so now, they're on foot going to go see baby Jesus. That's right. <laughs> and then once they get there, of course, like, as all people, when you see them, they go, oh, that's so cute, you know. Like it was Jesus. Oh, for real? Hey, yo, sketch a picture of me and baby Jesus. <laughs> and so the shepherds, they had to go 
and check out. And then, of course, the angels told them, hey, it's payday. So then they had to go and check out, hey, what did God deposit into my account? All right yeah. now. And so once they get there, now that they've seen Jesus, they've had a conversation with the mother and father. Now they're going out into the world saying, hey, how you doing today? I'm pretty good. It's payday. A savior was born today. Yeah. 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 And so that was their joy, knowing that God has saved them. Because we flip back to Isaiah um, chapter 35, verses 1 through 10. Um, it reads, The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom mm. like a caucus shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The joy of Lebanon shall be given to it. The majesty of Carmel and Sharon, they see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Yes. Mm -hmm. They strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are fearful and hurt, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with a terrible recompense. He will come and save you. God sent his son to save us. Yes. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the species will sing for joy. The waters shall break forth into the wilderness and the streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp. The grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not travel on it, but it shall be for God's people. No traveler, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion will be there, nor shall the ravenous beast come up upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. So once the shepherds found out that their Lord and Savior has arrived, I mean, they heard about all the prophets that came before him. Moses was nice, you know, he led people to the promised land, but Jesus, he was that dude that was gonna lead them into heaven. Yes. I mean, he was the bundle of joy, the, the, the magnum opus of bundles of joy. All right. I mean, he was God's perfect creation that was now deposited into our accounts, into the world, so that we can then get to heaven. Yeah. And church, that's all I have for you today. Yeah. Yeah.